Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to look at the job scheduling problem. So the question is, given certain jobs with their start time and end time and a profit you make when you finish the job, what is the maximum profit you can make given certain number of jobs? So let's look at this example. Here we have six jobs for job one starts at one and at three and you make five profit out of it. Job two starts at two and at five you make six. Similarly for job three, four and six and you make five. For job four it starts at six and at seven and you make four. Job five starts at five and at eight and you make eleven. Job six starts at seven and at nine and you make two. So you have to select jobs in such a way that they don't overlap with each other and you make the maximized profit. So how do we solve this problem? Uh, so yes, we'll use dynamic programming to solve this particular question. So here we have these jobs. The first thing we do is sort these jobs by the last time in the non-decreasing order. So here I've already I've already sorted all the jobs here. So one, three, three, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So they're already sorted by their finished time. Okay. So now let's see, I have a, have a temporary array of the same size and now I'm going to fill this array and finally this array will have our result, right? So let's, let's put this number as it is in the array. So 5, 6, 5, 4, 11, and 2, alright? So now let's start from here. This is our i and this is our j okay so now we check if if these two jobs overlap then this job and this job cannot be done in these jobs cannot be done together so we'll just we'll do nothing about this particular job so we move i to here and j again starts from the first point so now 1, 3, and 4, 6 does not overlap. So the total amount I can make by picking these two jobs is 5 plus 5, 10. So we make this guy 10. All right. Then we move J here. Here, 2 and 5 and 4 and 6 overlap. So this guy cannot be done with this guy. So we don't touch this guy at all. So then I becomes 4. All right, and J again starts from the first element. So here 1, 3 and 6, 7 does not overlap. So if we pick this job and this job, at least we can make 9 here. All right, let's move J by 1. All right? So here, this job and this job does not overlap. So we can pick this job. So the maximum we make here is at least the maximum we could have made here plus this guy, so 10, which is greater than 9. So maximum we make here plus the cost, plus the profit we make by doing this particular job, so 10. All right, let's move J by one more. So these two jobs, again, do not overlap. So the maximum we make and we can make here is 10 whatever the maximum we can make here plus 4 so 14 which is greater than 10 all right so let's let's move i further this job and this job does not overlap so the maximum we can make here is 11 plus 5 so 16 let's move j by 1 the maximum we can make, these two jobs again do not overlap. So the maximum we can make here is 6 plus 11, 17, which is greater than 16. So we'll change this to 17. We'll move J here. These two jobs overlap. So we cannot do, do both the jobs. So we move J by one more. Again, these two jobs overlap, so we cannot pick J. So now I move I to the last point. 
this job and this job does not overlap. So the maximum you can make here is 5 plus 2, 7. And we move this by 1. This job and this job does not overlap. So the maximum we can make here is 6 plus 2, 8, which is greater than 7. And we move this by 1. This job and this job does not overlap. So the maximum you can make is 10 plus 2, 12, which is greater than 8. We move this by 1. This job and this job does not overlap. So the maximum you can make is 4 in plus 2, 16. And we move j by 1. This job and this job does overlap. So we cannot use them, we cannot do them in our schedule. So finally, once this array is built, we go over and find the point, find the maximum value, which is the total maximum value you can make by picking the job. So what our formula will look like? If if job at i and j do not overlap then t of i is equal to max of t of i or t of j plus profit made by doing job i. If you want the full solution to this problem, go to my GitHub, GitHub, GitHub link, github.com, mission piece, interview, wiki. Thank you.